What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of C3 Comics. As always, I'm your host, C3. I want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out the channel. I got a great show for you today. I picked up some really neat comic books. I'm excited about showing them to you. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. Hit that like button. Hit that, hit that subscribe button. And feel free to ring that bell. All right? So first thing I'm going to show you is the Fantastic Four 2021 calendar that I was able to get my hands on. I actually picked up a couple of these because one of them I'm going to give as a gift to my, uh, to my nephew. Yep. They're never too young to get them interested in comic books to try to spark that love for the comic. Beautiful cover. And you look on the inside, got that Fantastic Four, where are we, there we go, see that, old classics, look, number 52, first Black Panther, I'm still trying to get my hands on this one. Yeah, that's my grail right there. I need that in my life. Yep, but they got a lot of fire artwork in here. So, yeah, I'm going to keep one for myself, and I'm going to give one to my nephew. All right? Can't beat it. It was free. Yep, picked up two. All right? Moving right along, we're going to jump into Image. And I picked up James Tinian's The Fourth, Department of Truth, issue number four. This has been an excellent run thus far, too. James Tinian is, man, he's putting his foot in this one, bro. Like, he ain't pulling no punches. I don't know about you, I'm somewhat of a conspiracy theorist myself. Nice artwork. And, you know, a lot of times, me, myself, personally, I don't call them conspiracies. I call them half-truths. Because there's a lot of information in this world they just don't want us to know. And we got to find it for ourselves. Yep. James Tynan, uh, the fourth, Department of Truth. And I also grabbed, I believe this is cover B. Leave a comment down below. If, if anybody grabbed this one, I believe this is some Trad Moore artwork. The guy who worked on who worked with Donnie Cates on Silver Surfer Black. That's why I grabbed it. This one was a cover buy for me. Because uh, I saw the artwork and it reminded me a lot of Trad Moore, man. So I was like, man, let me grab that, you know. Because I was really intrigued by his artwork when he was working with, when, he, when, uh, when Trad Moore was working with Cates. He did a lot of good artwork in there, man. I really love the colors that he uses. You know, and he, and he's got this particular flow about his artwork that I, that I really really like. If this is Trad Moore artwork, somebody leave a comment down below. Let me know. I could be wrong, but I believe it is. I'm hoping it is because that's why I grabbed it. But Department of Truth issue number four, James Tiny, the fourth issue number four. All right, sticking with image, I picked up the Scumbag, and this is issue number three. And, 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 and just so you guys know, too, I'm actually working off two cameras right now. I purchased another camera, so I'm trying to see what's going on. So if you see me and I appear to be moving a little funny, <clears throat> that's because I'm I'm, ch I'm checking out these angles and everything. I'm trying to see what's working best, you know? And check this out. They got the James Bond homage on the back. That's dope. And this guy, and he is a, <clears throat> he is a real scumbag, excuse me. Like, but, but, but he is definitely the man for the job. He is funny as all outdoors. A lot of action, a lot of adventure, a lot of excitement going on in this book. The world's face rests in the hands of the worst person on it. The scumbag. You know, the writer is Rick Remender, 
The artist is Eric Powell. Colorist is Moreno. Is, uh, Moreno Deci uh, Denicio. And uh, I do apologize if I butcher your name. But yeah, if you aren't checking out Scumbag, definitely give it a turn, man. Good read. Next up, again, James Tiny in the fourth. Something is Killing the Children, issue number 13. Loving this one. And I don't know if you guys know it, but this ended, uh, the ending on this one is going to definitely have you begging for more. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But man, this book hasn't let up at all. Tiny and has not let up not one bit on this. So definitely check this out. This is one of the best reads of the year for 2020. So if you're not reading this, man, you must be stuck under a rock somewhere. Definitely grab this one if you're out there. If you see it out there in the wild, grab it. I heard they had some variant covers out for it, but um, there was none on the shelf at the store that I went to, so but I'll keep my eye open for them. All right, so we're going to cross over into Marvel World, into Marvel, all right? And I grabbed King in Black, issue number two. I grabbed that tattoo variant, that beautiful white cover. Definitely digging that. And Donnie Cates, man, he is he is he is really really putting his foot in this, man. He like, I don't know if a lot of people dislike Donnie Cates because he's so popular or because he's good at what he does. You know, um, I myself I like the way how how issue number one was explosive. It came through. It was just like, boom! It exploded. Null is here. The, the earth is, is going down, right? And then issue number two, there's still that same level of intensity. There's still that same urgency. But now we're just getting we're, we're getting some 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 flowetry, some some we're, we're getting an understanding of just how difficult it's going to be to deal with null. You gotta remember, null came to earth. On a celestial, on a celestial. So this dude ain't nothing to play with. He 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 dismantled Century like that. You know, Century was talking hot cash. Yo, Cap, is it all right if I engage? Yo, Captain America thought 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 Century's about to put in work. Captain America thought Century was about to go up there. And... No, he was out of there ASAP. So listen, it's, it's 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 so what we have in issue number two, that nice even flow where you you know I'm not gonna spoil it, but you got the heroes they are they are a little perplexed about how is this gonna happen, like how 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 are we gonna deal with this guy, because he's here now and there's 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 no avoiding him because he's here. So Donnie Cates, issue number two, the regular cover. I'm loving this one, I'm loving it. Loving it. I'm loving it. I love the way Kate um form formulates a formulates a story, man. Like, like, you know, he came in, he hit us off the back, it was explosive. It's starting to he, he leveled it out. It's gonna even out now. He's gonna give us some storyline. And then and, and he go it's gonna build back up. Trust me when I tell you, you know how how Kate hits, man. He he hit when he, and when he hit, he hit hard. So be ready. You don't know which issue is gonna come in, but be ready. There's a lot of crossovers, too, so pay attention. All right, so next up from Marvel, I grabbed Spider-Woman, issue number seven. This one is strictly a cover buy for me. That Peach Momoko. I haven't been reading uh, Spider-Woman at all, so I'm not going to front like I am. If somebody's reading it out there, let me know how is how how is it? You know what's it, what's going on in here? Because I don't have a clue what's going on. I, I'm I'm gonna take the time to read this, and hopefully it'll shed a little light on the subject for me. It looks intense, though. Spider Woman look like uh like she got some issues. She got some things on her mind. So I'll check it out. 
But leave a comment down below. Let me know if I'm missing out if I'm not reading this. I grabbed it for that Momoko cover, though. That Momoko cover is fire. All right, so now we're going to jump over to IDW. I grabbed one book from IDW. I grabbed Star Wars Adventures, Smuggler's Run, issue number one. I've been digging these on the low, too. Quiet is kept. Millennium Falcon, Han Solo, Chewbacca, and the Millennium Falcon. Some really, really good storylines. And then I know um, Key Collector has it like a first appearance of of, uh, of of one of the characters, but you know it may be the first appearance uh, in the IDW in this in this version, but it's not the first appearance of the character overall. You know, um, but it's still a good read, man. Like I enjoy them. Next up, this book is coming from Vault Comics, right? The Picture of Everything Else. And I grabbed this, and I believe, I think this is cover C, maybe? I think this is cover C. I believe cover B is the one with the uh, with the razor on there. Cover A is the one where he's standing in front of the canvas, actually doing the initial painting. I grabbed cover C because I like that old school feel to it. These covers uh, remind me of, hold on, let me see. Let me see if I got one close by. Because I, I like that old school stuff. Let's see. Let's see if I got one. Yeah. Right? So, like something like this. See that? That old school horror ghost type thing. Yeah, so that's why I, I grabbed this cover. That's why I grabbed that. Because of because of that look, you know? That nostalgia. Because that's what I'm used to seeing, you know? I like that. I like that type of artwork, man. You know, it's nothing like when you open an old comic and you smell it, man. That old smell of old paper. That old ink. Yep, but Volt Comics. A picture of everything else. This is what the artwork on the inside looks like. Can you guys see that? Very interested to see what's going on in here. Right? The writer, uh, this book is written by, by Dan Waters. Um, and the artwork is done by Shore Wong. No, excuse me. I'm sorry. For, <laughs> yo, I just pounded his name. Kishore Moen. Kishore Moen. Listen, if I did your name dirty, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, but no. But it's got some nice artwork in there. Look at that. I'm interested to see what this is about. Right? So, the picture of everything else. And I grabbed another one for spits and giggles. You know how I do. One to read, one for the spec box. Moving right along, we're going to shift over to DC now. Right? So from DC, I picked up Black Adam Special, uh, issue number one. I am a big fan of Black Adam. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I can't wait for the movie. Got Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing the movie. I know that's going to be fire. The Rock came a long way since wrestling. Can you smell it? What The Rock is cooking? Yeah, he's, he's definitely in the lab. Black Adam. That's what I'm talking about. Explosive. Definitely. Definitely looking forward to reading. Yeah, I can't wait to get some free time. Got the Christmas holiday coming up too. People are going to be opening up presents. I'm going to be reading comics. And I grabbed that car stock variant also. That all white with Black Adam in the middle. Man, that's fire. Mr. 
straight fire that is. Nice clean. Yeah. Black Adam. Endless Winter. Next up from DC, I grabbed cover B of a uh, Batman White Knight, Harley Quinn. This is just a beautiful cover. I'm actually looking forward to reading this one as well. I haven't been as thorough on Batman White Knight as I should, but it's still early in the game. Like, you know, so this is only issue number three. So I can really jump into this right now and still be able to catch up. That's that first appearance of Starlet that everybody's talking about. It's the first full. Yep, because as you can see, she's in one, two, three, four, five panels. And on. Continue. Yeah, so. Batman White Knight, Harley Quinn, issue number three. The Joker's dead. Batman's behind bars. Let's see what's going to happen. All right. Next, I got Spawn, issue number 313 from Image Comics. Look, everybody. Twins. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Spawn 313. I know this is supposed to be the first appearance of Plague Spawn. Nobody writes a comic like Todd McFarlane, right? He's definitely on his artwork. His game is, is, is priceless. His artwork, his skill, he's priceless. Whenever you can get McFarlane for cover price, jump all over it. I grabbed that, uh, that Plague variant also. First cover appearance. I got a couple of more coming in the mail. We'll pop those open when they get here. So I'll let you guys see them. All right. That's what I got. So there you have it, folks. Those are the comics that I picked up for New Comic Book Day. I appreciate all you guys for stopping by, checking out the channel. I hope you saw something you like. If there's anything that you think I missed, leave a comment down below. I think you guys have been around long enough to get a feel for what I like to read. So if you think I'm missing something that I might be interested in, just let me know and I can double back and grab it. I'm always up for a good read. All right. Oh, one more thing before we go. Saturday. Saturday's video is going to consist of this comic box that I got from Comic Head 84. All right. So on Saturday, this is going to be the video. We're going to pop this open. I'm going to show a bunch of comics, but then we're also going to pop that box open and see what Comic Head sent us. Yo, Comic Head 84. Yo, I appreciate you for that, man. Thank you very much. I know it's gonna be, I know it's gonna be more than worth it, so I'm not even worried about it. Alright? So listen, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. So every time I post up, you guys will be the first ones to know. Every chance I get to show you guys love, I'm gonna show you love. And I hope you feel the same way. I'll see you next time. As always, I'm your boy C3, and we're gonna keep it comics. Peace.